This video is going to be focusing on audience analysis. It's one of a few on this topic. This one is focusing specifically on the market definition. We'll talk about our major source of data for radio and television as well as cable use. We'll also talk about market terminology. What are the designations for the places where data are being collected? And we'll talk about and get a look at the Southeast Territory, just for an example. Let's go ahead and talk first about Nielsen. Nielsen's the largest company that does this kind of data collection. They operate in the United States as well as internationally. And they were developed early on in the 1900s when advertising became a big part of the broadcast world. And advertisers started to wonder whether the money they're spending on these advertisements in this broadcast medium are, is actually worthwhile. Are they getting their bang for their buck? So to answer that question, a variety of companies like Nielsen started to collect data and provide some information to them. And of course, that data was interesting to the advertisers, but also interesting to the media companies. So the media companies and the advertisers became the primary clients for Nielsen in the beginning. And they have grown since then. And as I said, they are the largest. They do have some competitors now, including a company called Red Rentrack. Uh, but those competitors are a little more niche oriented. So Nielsen still covers the largest range and uh, is the most prominent. Let's take a look at the kinds of areas they've designed in order to collect this data. So the first one we'll look at is focused on radio. It's the metro survey area. This is based on government designed markings, boundaries, and it's something that when you break up the United States, we get 268 of these markets. What's important here, it's a, it's a, a defined area by government that has a concentration of, of population in the middle of it. So for us, Orlando would be the metro survey area. Let's look at television. You did a little research earlier about the DMA for Orlando, and you found out that we are 18 in the country. That's right, so we're 18 out of 210 designated market areas. Unlike the metro, these are not defined specifically by government designations and borders. These instead are defined by Nielsen, taking into consideration the population and the broadcast and cable reach. And then finally, what we want to talk about is the NSI. This is the Nielsen Survey Index area. And what they're doing here is reaching beyond the DMA. So the DMA is good, but some of those signals, whether it's from a cable outlet or from a broadcast station, are going outside of the DMA designation. And people are watching those programs and uh, watching those services. So the Nielsen Survey Index lets stations know about that reach so they can get a bigger picture of their population they're reaching. So as we move down, we go from small to larger to the largest area. But these are the two that are pretty much the labels we hear talked about in radio and television and cable. So let's take a quick look at this idea of the uh, Southeast Territory and the DMAs designated for that area. We can see right in this spot, this is ours, our DMA, the Orlando, Daytona Beach, Melbourne area. Right next to it, Tampa Beach, excuse me, Tampa Bay and St. Petersburg. And then down at the bottom, Miami, Fort Lauderdale. These are all shaded in blue because those are among the largest in the country, the top 25 markets in the country. Between them, we have Fort Myers and West Palm Beach. Those are the next level, 25 to about 56 in the country. The reason there are different colors on this map is because they're measured differently. We'll get to the differences in measurement in another video. But I just wanted to be able to give you a sense for the sizes of these DMAs, their location, Houston, Atlanta, others that are really large, but also some of the smaller ones, Albany, Tallahassee. See Tallahassee, Albany, or rather uh, Tallahassee, Thomasville goes across two different states. So it's not really designated by the government um, designations for borders. So that's our Southeast Territory. So we've covered Nielsen as our main provider. They're the ones who have developed these areas in which to do the local collection of data. Metro for radio, DMA for TV, those are the key ones we want to remember.